Once upon a time in the sunny village of Willowbrook, there was a group of four young friends, Emma the brave, Oliver the clever, Mia the kind-hearted, and Max the curious. One breezy afternoon, they gathered under the old oak tree to discuss the legend of the cursed palace, a grand building on the outskirts of their village, said to be deserted and forgotten for centuries. The story was that a powerful wizard had cast a spell on the palace, making it perilous for anyone who dared to enter. But this only made Max more excited. I've always wanted to see it up close, he exclaimed. Emma nodded confidently. With us together, we can handle anything. The friends set off on their adventure, walking through the dense forest paths, guided by the map Oliver had drawn from old tales. The sun began to set, casting eerie shadows among the trees, but Mia's sweet singing lifted their spirits. After hours of walking, they reached the gates of the cursed palace. They stood tall and rusty with thorny vines sprawling over the ancient stone walls. Max pushed the gate open with a loud creak. Stay close, everyone, Oliver advised, holding his backpack filled with useful gadgets. As they entered the palace, the air felt thick, as if it were whispering secrets from long ago. In the grand hall, dusty chandeliers hung from the ceiling, and faded paintings of unknown faces lined the walls. Suddenly, a cold wind blew through, and Emma noticed a flickering light coming from a distant hallway. We need to follow it, she said, her voice unwavering. They walked cautiously towards the light, which led them to a vast room with a pedestal in the center. On it lay an old leather-bound book. That's the wizard's spell book, Oliver realized with excitement. As they approached the book, the room began to shake, and a ghostly figure appeared. Who dares disturb my palace? The wizard's voice echoed. It's us, the friends of Willowbrook, Mia said kindly. We've come to break the curse. The ghostly figure scrutinized them, then spoke. To lift the curse, you must solve my riddle. I am not alive, but I can grow. I have no lungs, but I need air. What am I? The friends huddled together, thinking hard. Suddenly, Max's eyes lit up. It's fire, he shouted. The ghostly figure nodded and slowly vanished. The shaking ceased, and the air felt lighter as beams of sunlight began to seep into the hall. You did it! Emma cheered, hugging Max. Together, they opened the spellbook and found the incantation to break the curse. Reciting the spell, they watched as the palace began to transform, the walls becoming brighter and the air filling with the sweet scent of flowers. They returned to Willowbrook as heroes, knowing their friendship and courage had turned an ancient legend into a new chapter for their village.